Hello everybody, welcome to the session. Today we will be seeing uh, QTP that is uh, quick test professional the automation tool that is used for testing. Uh, this is a fast track tutorial just to give you an overview how the QTP works. Let's open the Qt. Let's open the QTP that you have installed on your machine. You need to select web because we are working with the web applications. Click OK. Okay, we have opened our uh, QTP successfully. In this tutorial, we'll see how to do the automation testing using QTP. Before that, we'll just run a quick manual testing. Uh, we have uh, taken the website uh, that is discover.com which calculates the student loan for this particular testing. So today we'll see how to see uh, the automation compared to the manual. Now we'll start on with the manual. What, a, what do you do in the manual? To, to calculate the student loans, we go to this particular website and then we browse to the student loan calculator and then we scroll down, go to the monthly payment calculator and then when you scroll down, I manually enter this information. Loan type as private, loan amount as $1000. Okay, and then the interest rate and uh, repayment term is five years years until graduation i still have four years and then i would say calculate once i say calculate what it does it calculates the interest and it shows me how much monthly interest that i'm paying so it shows me the graph of interest and principal so this is how we do it manually but if we want to do it automatically that is we need to tell qtp how to do this, how where to go to the browser, how to uh, browse to the website, where, uh, how to navigate through the student loan calculators and then what information it should enter. That's all will be done automatically. To do that, let's go to QTP. Okay, we'll create a new record. New record is always created with the test name. You can save it. Let's just save it. Okay, I'll save it on my desktop. QTP and I would say test discover and save it. So this is my website. Now how uh, would QTP know which website to go into? First we'll start on with go to the automation tab, go to automation, click on record and run settings. When you click record and run settings, the options that you see is you can give it the, some website address where it has to launch and the browser that it has to look into. Okay, what is the browser that we want it to go to? Let's say we want it to go to Discover Students Loan website directly. Okay, here we need to enter Discover Students Loan website and click Apply. Set everything to default and OK. Now we can directly go and click record. Now when we click record, it will open the link of the home page that we have given it. When you click record, you can see that it opened this particular website for us automatically. Now it has started recording. And uh, once it started recording, you can even stop it if you are done with it. Now let's see how does it record each and everything that we do manually. So we need to run it manually for the first time and show QTP how to run it. So now we want, after it goes to this website, we want it to go to student loan calculator tab and then scroll down and then go to monthly payment you see that whenever I do any activity on the browser it gets recorded in the actions tab right in here that is in the export view ok we will go through this after but here we will just go through how does it record and then scroll down here we will enter private that is the loan amount 1000 and my interest rate is 3% term is 5 years graduation is 4 3 years and then I click calculate. So it calculates the amount. Now I'll close the browser. And then I'll stop the recording. And then I will save it. Now what this does is, it keeps the log of each and every activity that we do in the browser. So what it did, it went to the browser. When you click on this particular link, you can see the active screen right in here. Okay, this is the active screen. Okay, so when you click on this first tab, you'll see where it, it went to the main screen, and then next one it calculated the monthly payment, and then I'm just clicking the down arrow. 
it goes to the select private and it enters thousand and then it enters the interest rate and then it calculates selects the five years and then selects three years and then clicks continue calculate and then it syncs and then it closes the browser okay now let's just run and see what exactly it does we'll just close this particular browser and then run it, it asks us where, where you wanted to save the results folder we'll just select the default one okay and then it would open it opens automatically it goes to that particular tab you see that my arrow is not moved and then it enters the information and then it's done so you can see iteration is one action summary is done let's run timetable data plus discovery action data you can close it and it has run successfully okay so this is how you do a QTP so you can also see the results folder we have saved it in QTP test to discover and then IS1 this is the report when you open it you see the results it's in the XML format and you can see that it has saved all the results in the XML format okay uh, so this is just a fast track uh, tutorial for QTP in the next session we'll see some more basic concepts of QTP uh, these tutorials are mainly in, in for, for beginners if you want to learn QTP fast track and just to get an idea of what is QTP and how does it look how does it work and the basic functionality of it this is mainly useful for uh, most of the developers like uh, me being myself being a Java developer that's most helpful for me because other than Java knowledge, it's good to have some automation tools knowledge as well. So I hope this tutorial is helpful. Thank you.